Hi, Sarah from Sarah Humphrey Embroidery. I have been shopping and I want to show you what I've been buying. So we do a lot of gold work embroidery, it's very beautiful. And this is a selection of the threads that I currently use. I'll just show you around those. Um, we've got some stranded cottons there. So that's, I think it's about 10 or 12 strands in these ones, these metallic ones. A um, couple of different colors of gold. We've got some Gutterman ones here. Um, these are single threads that you can put with other threads. We've got blending filament as well, so you put that in with another thread. Um, there's twisted ones, twisted together. We've got an anchor and a DMC one there. Um, another DMC diamond thread, which is another sort of twist. And Krynik Japan thread, very fine one, this one. So there's loads of different kinds of gold thread that I like to use, but I'm always on the lookout for something new. So I've been online and I've been hunting and I found something I want to show you. So this exciting looking package has come all the way from France. Um, it's come from DMC Threads. Um, so let's have a look inside. Now one thing I do have to say, if you buy something from DMC is you get a massive amount of paperwork with it. Um, everybody else is going paper free, uh, not DMC. Um, I bought this and a few threads and there's 21 pages of invoices and goodness knows what in there. So half a tree in there. So let's get it out of the box. This is a special edition item from DMC. It's not new. Um, this was for 2016 for their 270th anniversary. Um, so let's open it up. It's got beautiful DMC ribbons on it. And we have some thread. So I'm going to show you around first. I want to show you this bit. So this is a little certificate to guarantee of authenticity. This is 9,991, just to prove they were limited edition. So just to prove which one I've got there. That's in there and it's got a book inside so we can just pull that out. Got two books. A little card, should you want to give it away to somebody. Let's have a look at this. So this is a little book about the history of DMC, which is really interesting. We'll have a little look through. It's in French and English if you want a different language. That's the different language portion of it. And a little rundown about how DMC started. Um, started off in printing textiles actually, not in embroidery threads. And then talks about how they get into making their different threads and the colours that they used and the processes that they used, discovering mercerisation, which is what makes them nice and shiny, nice and strong to use. And then it talks about um, its connection with Therese Dilmont. So this um, lady was um, an embroiderer herself and she got together with DMC and she wrote some books for them. I'm going to come back to this um, in a little short while because I want to show you a little bit more of this. And this book at the back, so it shows a little bit from the collection of the DM, of DMC, their own embroideries. And then at the back here, it's got some original designs by Therese Dilmont in the back, which they printed for you to use, which is quite a nice little feature. Got some colour ones as well, some charts. They did a lot of cross stitch mainly first, a lot of counted work. So these are all counted patterns. And some little crowns at the end that I quite like. So that's the book that comes with it. And now we get to the gold thread itself. It's got a little tab. So here we go. So this gold thread is actually 24 karat gold thread so this is super super special thread I was very excited to get this so um, 
got lots of other gold threads and they look really pretty but this is the real deal folks so this is 24 karat gold thread it's quite heavy um, as you would expect <laughs> so let's just show you that without the box in the way so let's have a little closer look at this thread so as I said it's quite heavy it feels very metallic it feels quite different to normal thread and you can see on here that it says where does it say there we are 24 carat on it and I just thought I'd put it next to these other ones so you can see the difference in colour it is quite different this one is quite yellow it's much beautiful much more beautiful than these this one's a little bit green so those are the three these are DMCs as well for comparison so this is six strands the 24 karat gold these ones are more you can see that there there's about 10 in there so that's what they look like for comparison so this is actually a collector's item you're supposed to leave it in the box um, but it's way too good an opportunity to miss to actually stitch with some real gold so I am going to stitch with it now obviously that's a little bit scary thought I don't want to waste any there's eight meters in this skein um, of six strands um, and I don't want to be taking it out and I don't want to be cutting lots of ends off and throwing them away so I need to think carefully about what I want to do so I could use some designs from the book um, but I also wanted to show you some more designs so these ones at the back we had a little look at Therese Dillmont earlier so she wrote the first ever um, encyclopedia if you like on embroidery she did lots of other things as well so she did knitting and crochet and tatting um, and lace making and she compiled them into a book and I've actually got a couple of those books now these ones are pretty old ones I've got two as it happened two of the originals here now I found these in a charity shop so if you're um, want one do have a look in your local charity shop you never know you might find one I think they weren't very expensive um, so this I'll show you this one I think because this one see it's DMC in the front and it's got lots of information there's so much in this book linen embroidery white work embroidery darning patterns is macrame crochet knitting there really isn't anything the lady didn't do um, and in the back as well of this and various points there's lots of patterns as well and lots of explanations that you can use so I thought it might be nice to take something maybe out of the original um, encyclopedia but the other thing I've got as well that I want to show you and it's actually mentioned in this book here is a book, a book of motifs and I looked at that and I thought oh I recognize that I'm sure I've got that book and I have this is it here now this is in quite um, poor condition the front cover's not actually on it anymore but somebody had it in 1908 so that's how old it is so I should treat it very carefully and these are lots of different um, designs here she is again look um, Mulhouse Alsace this is where the DMC factory is and this gold thread is actually made here still um, so actually that's where it's come from it is all in French um, but here's some designs in here it's in colour as well lots of different kinds of designs and it's even got the pattern pieces which I think is beautiful so you can trace them off see them there I don't really want to take them out of the book but um, I can trace these off as well because there's loads of patterns in here so I've got lots of ideas it would be lovely to use the um, original designs that, um, that these um, books were um, made for um, but if you've got another idea that you think I should do with my 24 karat gold thread then do let me know below you might have thought something I haven't um, and then we will um, get together some ideas and I'll make a decision about what I want to do and then I think we will do some stitching so at the time of filming this there are still some more skeins available so if you're interested in having your very own skein of gold thread you can check out the DMC website and you can get that from there and I will be back in another video when I've decided what I'm going to do stitching with this beautiful 
gold thread. <laughs>